October 9th. Yes, sir. That's where it starts. Hey, look at this. I've been cleaning out my nest and I found an old book. What have we here? You're at 109 right now. The year was 2018 and I was in Ethiopia. I was in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, the capital city. Let me say that again. Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I went to Addis Ababa University. There's a museum there today. At one time, Emperor Haile Selassie I lived there for some time. There's a museum there today. Now, I was at the museum on the second floor, and I had to go to the bathroom. I needed to excuse myself and make my way. So I made my way to the bathroom, and on en route to the bathroom, down a hallway, there's a corridor on the second floor that leads to a bathroom. As I was walking to that bathroom door, I noticed another door adjacent to it just before you enter the bathroom. And the numbers one, zero, and nine were written on that door. And I stopped. I said, yo, those are my numbers. Those are my numbers. 109. What are they doing there? Now, it could have been that those numbers were supposed to be there, but they weren't supposed to be there. They weren't supposed to be there because I was on the second floor. And if you're on the second floor, the numbers of the doors correspond to the floor. Second floor, they should be two something. 200, 201, 203, 204. Those numbers were actually on the door. 202-203. I think those are the numbers. I have to look at the picture to confirm that. But I made sure to take a picture because 1, 0, and 9 was written on that door. And I was like, those are my numbers. Why are they there? They're not supposed to be there. I didn't find out why those numbers were there until two years thereafter because, well, I had other things to do than think about these numbers, <laughs> but I made sure to take a, a photo and I, I took that photo as evidence of what I had seen. And it was so peculiar that I had seen those numbers there because those are my numbers. And I was like, yo, why did someone write those on the door? Well, anyway. Two years later, I'm here in Los Angeles. I still have a friend whom I can contact on through cell phone and ask him, hey, can you help me out? And sure enough, he did. I said, can you go back to that, uh, that, that museum, ask around, ask someone why those numbers 109 are written on that door? And, and please, if those numbers are still there, then yeah, that's that's even better, but I mean, whatever. So this is now, yes, two years ago. Was this four years ago when this happened? My goodness, 2020? I guess it was 2020. Yeah, it was 2020. I called my buddy, messaged him, and I said, can you go back to the museum and ask someone, anyone, do some work for me, please? He did it. Apparently behind that door, there are some offices and those offices. Well, it's Addis Ababa University. So there are professors who work out of those offices now. And there's one particular professor who teaches a class. The section number, I guess, is number 109. And so he wrote 109 on the door so that his students would know that's the class to come to or excuse me that's the office to go to that's what they explained to me and my buddy said he went to he went there to inquire he spoke with actually he made a phone call and talked with the gentleman and I actually talked with him as well over the phone this has been some years now but that's the story that they told me it was 
it was related to the class that he was teaching, and behind those doors were his his offices. Interesting, though, he said that, or rather, I learned that behind those doors, there were two rooms, because those were rooms where Emperor Haile Selassie's children lived. That was their bedrooms. So it's just an interesting little connection to history and whatnot. And, and 109 was written on the door and it wasn't supposed to be there. But it was. It captured my attention. I had to, had to figure out the reason. Not immediately. I didn't ask anyone on that day. Like I said, I just took a picture and then I got I went on with my business. And I didn't think about it really until so many other things started happening. And I was like, let me go back and try to figure out why that was there. Now, the fact that 109 is written on a door, or rather 109 is, is on a door, like that doesn't mean anything. But then it's it took on a life of its own. That detail took on a life of its own because Stephen and Marsha, colleagues, former colleagues of mine from South Korea, they were in New Mexico and they took a photograph of a door with the numbers 109 on it. And those numbers 109 on that door, they were supposed to be there. In fact, it's a very famous door. 109 because 109 is the address or rather 109 is part of the address for that for that that building that that place anyway the place is 109 east palace 109 east palace so basically the story about that address in new mexico santa fe new mexico which has no relation to the door in Ethiopia, except for the fact that I know that there was a door in Ethiopia with the number 109 written on it. And then I saw a picture taken by Stephen and Marcia of this door with the number 109 on it. And I, I, I put these two things together to say, man, that's kind of interesting, 109 on these doors. Anyhow, again... 109, that's my number. So when I did some uh, research and I figured out what 109 on that door or what that address is about, wow. It really made me think because that door led to essentially the Manhattan Project, the atomic bombs. And curiously enough, I visited the two cities where atomic bombs were dropped, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Now, if I had never visited those cities, maybe I would have, I wouldn't have such an interesting story to tell. But the fact that I've been there makes the fact that I was in Ethiopia and saw those numbers on a door and the fact that I saw that picture with those numbers on the door and the fact that I've been to those cities, it makes all of these details so much more, to me, fascinating. But that's just me because, you know, 109 is my number and, and that's, just, that's just how I roll. So 109, 109, 109, or 109. Slice it however you want it. I'm Larry Wiggs. These are my stories and my adventures, and they are true, 100%. I'm just bringing you the facts, the details. Peace and blessings from... I'm from where the fat beats stretch for mad blocks. I'm from where the fat beats stretch for mad blocks. I'm from where the fat beats stretch for mad blocks. You're at 109 right now. 